The Coon Sanders Original Novelty Orchestra, Nighthawk. The Coon Sanders Original Nighthawk Orchestra was the band that made radio famous. Founded by Charlton Coon and Joe Sanders, the band lived for seven years in prominence around the country. Charlton Coon was born in Rochester, Minnesota on February 15, 1894. His mother left when he was only a few years old, so he and his father moved to Lexington, Missouri. Coon would often go to the docks by the river to watch the black workers sing. Eventually, he and his father moved to Kansas City, where his father bought a hotel so Coon could go to a high school in the city. After high school, Coon became the chief milk inspector, pushing a public campaign to make sure the milk is up to standard. Sanders, however, was raised completely different. While he was born in Thayer, Kansas on October 15, 1896, Joe Sanders spent most of his boyhood in Belton, Missouri, where his family moved while he was just a kid. He was a prodigy at baseball as well as music. As a young boy, he sang tenor and the choir at Grand Avenue Temple. He also received piano lessons and learned to train his ear for harmony. Eventually, his family moved to Kansas City, where he would attend Westport High School. At night, he would work at the Blue Goose Cafe, singing songs and entertaining the guests. Sadly, one night the cafe was raided by police for continuing to sell liquor after the curfew. By luck, Sanders and Coon would meet at the Jenkins Music Store. Sanders was playing the piano he was looking to buy when the smooth vocals of Charlton Coon joined him. The two immediately hit off a friendship and started to play events around the city. One particular event on October 3rd, 1918 was a war bond rally for the Great War, led by then-former President Theodore Roosevelt. The duo played several songs, including Kick In, one of the four Liberty Loan songs. This made the crowd go wild, all while selling war bonds to help those overseas. Shortly after this, Sanders was drafted into the Army and had to move to Camp Bowie, Texas. While participating in an amateur show, he was offered to a transfer to headquarters company to entertain the officers. Sanders formed the Missouri Jazz Hounds and played for the officers even after the war was over. He was discharged in April of 1919 and returned to Kansas City to continue his partnership with Charlton Coon. This is when the duo formed the Coon Sanders Original Novelty Orchestra with other musicians in the area. They played at events in places all around the city, most notably at the Hotel Mulebach in the Plantation Grill. After three years of prestige in the music industry, they got an engagement with WDAF Radio to do a nightly midnight radio program where they would play several of their songs and with entertaining on-air antics, they were quickly famous all over the nation, including the entirety of North America. In one of the early broadcasts, the announcer commented to Coon and Sanders, saying that no one would stay up to hear this but a bunch of Nighthawks. His unusual remark stuck a chord in thousands of people in North America, and the next day several people sent telegrams to the band to say that they were indeed Nighthawks. So many people were calling themselves Nighthawks that the bands decided to change their name to the Coon Sanders Original Nighthawk Orchestra. With the name change came a fan club and even a new theme song called Nighthawk Blues. While they would play on the radio during the colder months, the Nighthawks played at taverns and clubs during the summer, most notably at the Balloon Room in, at the Lincoln Tavern and the Dells a Club in Morton Grove, Illinois. Eventually, they moved their headquarters to the Black Hawk restaurant in the Congress Hotel in Chicago. However, they kept close ties with Kansas City and would come back home to play engagements often and even raise their families here. Kuhn and Sanders have always been heavy drinkers. Kuhn a lot more than Sanders. In an interview with Charles Haddock, the director of the Mar Sound Archive at UMKC, he said that Kuhn and Sanders both drink. However, Charlton Coon was a heavy drinker and he would forget lyrics to the songs he was supposed to know. Sadly, in 1932, at 38 years old, Charlton Coon died from blood poisoning. Sanders wrote a letter detailing their lives and the happy times they've had together. Sanders lived to be 68 and is buried 
at Mount Moriah Cemetery in Kansas City. A man learns to love a partner who has shared the pranks of fickle Dame Fortune. When men have worked together, slept together, and fought shoulder to shoulder, smiled as one when the going was rugged, rejoiced as one heart. When a victory was won, then men knew each the other.